your girl Chantelle Lace coming at you with another video and in today's video I'm going to show you how I achieved this nice glam look right here. So if you want to see how I created this look, stay tuned. <laughs> Welcome back, you guys. Yes, so this is going to be my first makeup look for the year. So, yes, um, my face is already primed. So, we just got to go in and start and do some color correcting, which I'm going to be using um, my Black Radiance HD Color Corrector in orange. And we're going to put that everywhere. I have dark spots and acne scars because, you know, your girl is a picker. So... But um, if you're new to the channel, welcome. Thank you for joining me. And uh, go on and hit that subscribe button and notification bell so you won't miss out on any other makeup tutorial videos that I do. All right, so I'm going to blend that out. Oh, I do need a little bit more around my mouth. And I have a spot right there, here. And I like to go around here because it's dark. And then I have a little scar that is lightening up. So. so now that I got my color corrector on, I'm going to be using my InStylish Beauty Blender. Um, these were sent to me from InStylish. And I actually do love these. They come in a dual pack. So it has two right here. And they're usually $12.99. But they do have a sale going on right now. So they're like $9. But yes, I do like them. I like how they feel. This one is just kind of like a regular beauty blender sponge. And then this one kind of has like a little flat tip. And on both sides, one's bigger than the other. And it's rounded at the bottom. So I think that's really, really cool. I'll have their website linked up above so you can check that out. But yes, they are having a sale. So I would definitely check them out. And I will have a coupon code link down below you can use um code Chantel and you can get 10% off your first purchase and um I do receive a small commission if you do use this code so I wanted to be very transparent with that but yes I'm going to go in and blend out this orange and what I like is that the small part I can literally just do for my color correcting because literally it's small enough like look at that so, I can actually use the same sponge for the same thing and then save the other one because, you know, we all about trying to make things last around here, boo. But, yeah, just kind of pat that into the skin and get that going. Um, I learned this from Patrick Starr. I'm going to set my color corrector. And I'm going to be using the Fenty Beauty um, Pro Filter Concealer. And this is in Banana. I love, like, I just love this um, setting powder. Not concealer, sorry. But just there, yeah, just kind of set all that orange. But, yep, I was like, ooh, my eye is feeling better. If you do not know, I had um, got some falsies over the weekend. And they had messed up my eye. And I couldn't really do anything it was swollen and red but now i'm like yes i can actually get out here and get it together boo okay because man i've i've been wanting to wear some makeup and get all cute and that's what we gonna do today i'm gonna go in with the becca ultimate coverage 24 hour foundation and i'm in shade maple i've been loving this foundation since i got it a few months back and it is still holding strong strong and staying true okay so we're just gonna kind of Dibble dabble a little. I'm not going to worry about my forehead too much because I am going to be wearing bangs. So, just kind of spread that around with my finger to kind of, you know, help the beauty blender a little bit. Or, you know, the sponge. I always say beauty blender, right? And it's not even a beauty blender. I'm not, I've never used a beauty blender. I would like to try one out, but I just, I'm just not spending that type of dough. Okay, so now we're going to use this and we're going to get this foundation on, boo. Now, as y'all know, I usually use a brush because a brush is going to give you more a full coverage. But, I, um, I like the sponges for um, concealer and for um, 
using my color corrector because you know it takes some of the product away but I like the brushes uh, makeup brushes to do my foundation because it keeps the product on there and I like a full coverage look but today most of my foundation brushes are dirty I need to wash them so I said let me go on and try this out and see how it does with the foundation and it's spreading it out pretty nicely I mean yes it's not full coverage which we know that because the sponge absorbs the product but it definitely is covering most of my imperfections and like I said I'm not gonna worry too much about my forehead because I am wearing some bangs so you're not even gonna really see that but I am gonna just hit where I put some color corrector mm -hmm. very nice hmm I like it Okay, so now we're going to move on to the eyes, and I'm going to be using my Tati Beauty Palette. Because every time I use this palette, I just feel so, so, so pretty. And yes, we're going to do like a nice little pink look today, because I have not used the pink shades in this palette. So, first off, we are going to prime the eyelid, and I'm going to be using my Jeffree Star Pro Star Concealer, which y'all already know. I love this concealer. And I'm just going to go on and take the same side that I used for the foundation and just kind of buff that out all over my eye. Mm -hmm. I get that inner corner really good. Yes, it feels so nice to actually be able to touch this eye and get some makeup on it. So, <laughs> this is a fairer brush that I'm going to take. And I'm going to go in Soothe Matte, which is the light brown shade in the Tati Beauty palette right here. So I'm gonna go into that and I'm just gonna use that as a transition shade because we're gonna go into pink colors today, okay? And this nice little color. Oh man, her shades are so pigmented and just so pretty, I love them. This palette is a really go-to palette for any look that you're trying to do, um, whether it's every day or you want a little va va boom. So the next brush that I will be going into, the BH Cosmetics brush. I don't know what number it is. Um, it doesn't really say on here, but it came in like you know the little brush um, kit with this color in it. <laughs> So I don't know, but it's a little, um, as you can see, it's a blending brush. And I'm going to go into this Poet Matte, which is this pink color right here. And we're going to put that on my outer crease. Pigmentation on here because I don't want it to be too dark or just too much. You want to just kind of pack it on. So that way you can have more control over like how much you're putting on and so forth but yeah so I'm just gonna brush it on my line and just kind of fan that out and fan it in we just blend it y'all blend it in there and we're going to get it out and just go right up in there and just fan that out. And then I'm going to just go into it a little bit more because as you can see this side is just a little bit more darker. There we go. Now I'm just kind of fan it out. Flatter brush by BH Cosmetics with the same line. Don't really know what. Oh, this is a number nine. The other one must have been used up. So now I'm going to go into that same Poet, but the metallic version of the Poet, which is right here. And that's what I love about this palette. The color scheme is just so pretty. So now I'm just going to go into this and put that all over my lid. We want. We're going to be Bob Bob Boom today. I haven't got to wear makeup in a few days, okay? So, I've been going crazy wanting to do makeup, seeing all these makeup looks on YouTube, and yes. Just gonna 
pack that on, boo. Mmm. Say, mmm. No. Alright, and gonna pack this on. God, look how pretty that is. I mean, literally, I can just wear this like this and call it a day, but I think I may want to add a little glitter. Okay, you guys, this is the finished look. I am so sorry. My camera shut off, and I did not know it, was sh it shut off, and I had finished my face, but um, I went on and, you know, put my little ponytail on, and basically, you know, I lined my eyes and put on my lashes. I used the Jeffree Star Concealer in C16 to highlight under my eyes, and I used my um, Morphe um bronzer and romance and for my lips i used um uh, the makeup shayla times color pop bb um bff2 bff3 sorry bff3 and then i used this is milani um a more matte lip cream and adorable and then i put on um, shayla times color pop ultra glossy lip and dripping it's like got like these little sparkles in there so I put that on top of that and I'm really liking this look but I do apologize that my camera shut off and you guys didn't really get to see the full finished process but you guys did to see most of the process um but yeah this is the look mm -hmm. I'm thinking I might add some glitter to her later I don't really know maybe some glitter maybe not hmm we'll see but yeah this is the finished look I hope you guys like this um look let me know your thoughts in the video i am loving the tati palette because i mean literally it's so versatile and you can do so many things and i feel so pretty since i wasn't able to wear makeup for five days you guys like five days i almost died okay so um i feel really really pretty today and i'm very happy that i was able to like just get dressed up and stuff so yes i hope you guys enjoyed this video give it a thumbs up if you did, don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you can be notified every time I upload a video. And until next time, stay fly and shine. Bye, you guys.